Good morning, Faith Explorers. Happy Sunday. I'm really glad you're joining us for another Faith Explorers video today. So as usual, we are continuing our Old Testament series, and this is actually the second to last week of it. So next week will be our last video in our Old Testament series, which is really exciting. So if you haven't watched them all, go ahead on the YouTube channel and click on all of them so you're all up to date. And before we start our story, we're going to be singing our song of the month with Alicia again. So go ahead and sing along with her here. hope you enjoyed singing that song with Alicia. Now it's time for our story of the day, which is called Daniel and the Lions. So go ahead and pull out your Spark Bible, and we are on page 184, which looks like this. Daniel loved God. He prayed every day and tried to live as God told him to. David knew that no matter what, God was always with him. Daniel's good friend, King Darius, put Daniel in charge of many things in his kingdom. Some men got very jealous of Daniel and decided to get him in trouble. Ha <laughs> ha, they thought, we'll get Daniel yet. The man tricked the king into making a law that everyone had to pray to King Darius and not God. Anyone who broke this law would be placed in a den full of lions. Yikes. So there's the king. And there is our main character, Daniel. And so they kind of tricked the king into making a law because they didn't like Daniel. Now, Daniel was very afraid of lions, but he prayed to God anyways. Daniel knew he could get in big trouble. He also knew that God would always be with him. Trouble came quickly. The men who tricked King Darius saw Daniel praying. Aha, they said, we got him. Now he won't be the king's favorite. They went to tell the king. King Darius, Daniel was praying to his God instead of to you. King Darius looked puzzled. Daniel always prayed to his God. What was the big deal? Then the men reminded him, you must put Daniel into the lion's den. You made it a law, remember? And so these are all the guys. They're acting pretty tricky, right? And they want Daniel to go with the lions, even though he was doing the right thing and was praying to God the whole time. Oh no, King Darius didn't want Daniel to be put in the lion's den. He didn't want Daniel to be hurt. But King Darius had to follow his own law. Daniel was put with the lions. King Darius said, I hope your God helps you. And he went home and stayed awake all night worrying about Daniel. In the lion's den, it was dark and scary. Lions growled all around Daniel. Daniel prayed, God, I know you are with me. Please help me. And God was with Daniel. 
And so here he is. Here's a picture of him with all of the lions. I think I would be pretty scared. Would you guys be scared if you were in a den full of lions, just by yourself in the dark? At sunrise, King Darius hurried to the lion's den and had it open. Daniel, he called, are you there? Did your God save you? Daniel answered, I'm here. God kept the lions from hurting me. God always keeps me safe. King Darius was overjoyed to see his friend. From that day on, King Darius believed in God. And here they are. And Daniel is rejoicing because he was alive and his God saved him. So our question is, how do you know that God is always with you, even in hard times? So go ahead and take a couple minutes to think about that question and share your answers with the people you're watching the video with. All right, Faith Explorers, I really hope you enjoyed our story for today. Now we're going to move on to a craft, so go ahead and follow along with the craft here. Okay, Faith Explorers, our craft for today is to make a Daniel and the Lions little setup so you can act out the story. As you can see in the picture, all you'll need are some paper plates, some paper and eyes to cut out to make Daniel and the Lions, and just some glue to put it all together. So flip the cups upside down. Cut out the faces and the shapes, glue them together, and glue them to the cups, and that's it. Then you can go back and act out the story with your figurines. Enjoy! Okay, Faith Explorers, I really hope you enjoyed that craft. We are nearing the end of our lesson today. So, what we're going to do right now is, before we close in prayer, go ahead and click onto our bulletin boards with our good news board and our prayer request board, and go ahead and add things for your week and then take a peek at what other people want us to pray for so that you can be ready for our prayer. So go ahead and pause the video and come back when you're ready. Okay, welcome back. So we are gonna close with a word of prayer. And as usual, I'm gonna put my hands up like this in the middle and use that time to say what you would like to pray for and what other people in our group wanna pray for. So please pray with me. Awesome God, we thank you today, especially for your servant, Daniel who was brave with the lions and showed us that even through hard times, you are still with us. And speaking of hard times, we know that things are hard in the world right now. People are still sick and people are still hurting. But God, we know that you are with us and that you will carry us through to the end of this pandemic. God, we ask you to, te to keep these people in our prayers. God, we know that you listen to our prayers, both spoken and those still in our hearts. And we know that you love us. We love you too. In your name we pray. Amen. All right. That was a great prayer. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Um, so the rest of our lesson, as usual, is in your parents' email. There's coloring pages. There's a family page with questions. And we also have a bunch of really awesome events coming up soon. So next Sunday, so a week from today, we have an event in person finally called Happy Holy Week. We're going to be learning how to celebrate Holy Week. We're going to do a craft and activity, and that is at 3 o'clock next Sunday at church. So I would love to see you there. The next Sunday after that is already Easter, which is so exciting. And if you and your family want to come and watch a butterfly release and have the chance to release some butterflies of your own, you would like to come to the 930 service. So the 9.30 service on Easter, and you will see some butterflies. And lastly, April 11th, which is the week after Easter, we're having another Donuts and Devotions where you can sign up to have donuts delivered to your house, and we'll log on to Zoom together for a story and a quick little devotion. So we have lots of events coming up. All of them have information in your parents' email, so ask them to ask me if they have questions and want more details. So, all that to say, I'm really excited to see you all soon, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's lesson. Have a good week. Bye.